Oh, I'd leave it tucked out. No, tuck it back in. Tuck it back in. We're here discussing uh, a tire when we should be actually going out and fishing. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle. Thanks for tuning in. We got Keeper, we got Natalie, we've got Ben and his son, Anthony from the Division of Wildlife Resources. They brought me out here to northeastern Utah to go chase some largemouth. Heck yeah, there's nothing place... better than largemouth. I know, I've, I've hunted around pelican. I've never fished it. That's a shame. Yeah. How dare you? It's time. It's time. It, it is, is the time. Day. All right. It's warm. The bass fishing is glorious. Everyone's talking about it. Actually, everyone in Vernal has been leaving work early. We know you were. Uh, <laughs> and coming out to Pelican and sneaking away during their lunch breaks and ending days early. So you're here at the right time. Pelican Lake is a small, out-of-the-way fishery located roughly 25 miles from the cities of Roosevelt and Vernal, just off State Route 88. I'm going to start off with a wacky rig. Now, I start my wacky rig a little different than most people might. Um, put a little bling on it, I guess. I put a little O-ring in the middle so that the bass can't just come up and strip this soft plastic. A lot of these plastics, well, they're soft plastics. The manufacturers make them that way so that you lose a few. I put an O-ring on there. I can usually fish it about four or five times longer. And then I add a little spinner on the bottom. It basically just has a little corkscrew that corkscrews into the end of the Senko. And then as it flutters down, it just entices them and flips and flops and they got to bite it. So we'll see how that does today. We'll give the girls the front of the boat, but we're not letting them drive. Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. There's the first fish on the first first drop. The deep water bass. Too. Deep They're water guy. Here. Little guy. First bass out of Pelican. Well, that was easy. That was pretty easy. And then another little baby following me. So that's about an average size bass here at Pelican. Is it? Yep. Just a little guy, huh? Nice little, I don't know, was that 12 inches? Yep. 13 inches? That. Good looking fish, man. Look how chubby that little guy is. Got a little bit of shoulders on him. We'll get him back in the water. Want him to live. Thank you, bud. And look at my Cinco. Doesn't even, hasn't changed. That O-ring, I'm telling you, really, really helps if you're gonna whack your rig a Cinco. Oh, dang it. In the early 2000s, Pelican Lake was known as a trophy bluegill fishery. Giant nine to 11 inch bluegill were pretty common. But in the late 2000s, an influx of carp into the reservoir tipped the ecological scale. Oh, he let go of it. Predators in the lake could just no longer keep up with the carp reproduction. The carp were so abundant that the water clarity steadily declined to the point of no return. So in the fall of 2018, the fishery was reset. And now anglers are starting to see the benefits. But Natalie says it will still take some time. I mean, our original focus with the management plan was to try to get back a, a trophy bluegill fishery, and we're definitely trying to do that still. But right now, the bass fishery is where it's at. So as most people who manage fisheries know, it's a balancing act. There can be too many bluegill at times, too many bass at times, and it, it teeters. Each year, it's different. Um, but right now, we're seeing we have a plethora of small bluegill. Uh, the bass are happy and healthy. Like that one? I hope it's more than a weed. That's more than a weed, it's swimming away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and kind of talk about typical size as you reel this fish in. So we're, we're averaging about 12 inches out here. Okay. And for management, that's what we want to see. Those 12 inch bass, they'll eat a lot of bluegill. Yeah. So we need to keep a, a healthy fishery. That's a good one. Yep, it is a good one. Oh yeah, that, that's a real nice fish. That's a pound and a half, better or better, huh? Good one. Pretty typical size there? This is a typical size. We, we were just talking, we do get some nicer ones through the ice. Yeah. The last couple winters, actually. We have a lot of small bluegill in here right now, and these bass, that's their main forage. Natalie grew up fishing pelican as a kid. And now that she manages it, she's hoping to bring this fishery back to its past glory. There's so many places for bass to hide here yeah, right now. that one, on. Nice. Keepers on the, on the boat. It's a good looking little fish. That's a nice bass. You know what that is? Bass bastard. <laughs> Fishy? Yeah, it's fish. 
Oh, dude. He's solid. Yeah. Oh, he's just swimming with his mouth swimming open. Swimming with us, too. Oh. oh, nice. A little yumper. Come on, peanut. Take it all the way. You know, topwater baits can be fantastic this time of year as well, especially early morning and late evening. And don't just fish the shallows. Out in the deep water, try a drop shot rig. The best baits to use are those that, you know, move pretty easy through the grass and cover. We'll try a Senkos, the Texas rig worms, flukes, and spinner baits. Over on Ben's boat, they are just hammering them on spinner baits. There. No harm, no foul. That's a 3 8 ounce. There's a one willow blade, one Colorado blade, and then white, green, black, blue, lots of different colors. Just add on a swim bait on the back of them. And they're usually pretty effective. I saw it. We've tried over the last five, 10 years. They Little guy. Gained some diversity in our region. And for black bass, you can fish pelican. Cool little fish. Steinecker, red fleet. And for smallmouth bass, you can fish starvation and big sandwash. And both of those fisheries produce quality smallmouth bass. A lot that size, we're looking for his big brother. And we're getting there here. I mean, the biggest bass we know of to date out of here is right around seven pounds. So that's a good solid fish in Utah. Pelican Lake is a pretty shallow lake. Oh, the average depth here is right around 13 feet. And at full pool, it covers about 1,600 acres. One thing it doesn't have much of is shore fishing. You'll need something to get you out on the water. They have so many different kinds of fishing kayaks. Amy and I use paddle boards now. A float tube. Anything that'll float, I mean, you'll be all right. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. I thought you had it. One group Natalie would like to see come and help with the carp situation is bow fishers. The carp are back. So close! And need to be thinned out. We're hoping that some of our bow fishing public can come out here and eradicate a few that way. Um, we do have a, a tagged reward tag carp program going on right now where there are some pink reward tag carp in here worth $100 each. So hopefully that's enough motivation to get anglers or bow fishers out here to try to target them. There's three of them. Oh, I decided. There's opportunity here and I think if oh, yeah, that's a good one. anglers had lights, it might be fun at night to come out here and bow fish for them at night but I think it provides an opportunity for a, a different type of fisherman out here. Is that fish? Oh yeah, it is. Fish on! Get it! Is that a good one? Oh, it's got a... Not a fish. No, it, it, I saw it. There's a fish in there. I swear there's a fish in there. Look at it, there's a fish in there! That's a good one, actually. She had it. She thought she had salad. Looks like a fish, that one. Maybe. You can just wait for it to jump in the boat. I guess I'll hit it. Oh, yeah, right underneath it. Did you see that? Yep, I did see that. Right underneath it. There you go. Good job. You too. Got the classic doubles going on. Welcome back to Pelican Lake. You know, we didn't catch any big largemouth today, but we did put a lot of fish in the boat. Most of our relative weights for bass here are above 100, between 100 and 115, which is a really healthy bass. Yeah, good looking fish. Yeah. They're all just stuff. There it is. There that's it is. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe. Nah, that's a big one. Nice fish though. And they're not super long here either. Like they are solid, like cinder block bass. They are short and fat and wide. They're they're stout. A little better, a little thicker. Like Tanya in her late twenties. <laughs> <laughs> How rude! How rude! Tanya moved to the basin for work about seven years ago. Got married and had a couple of kids. Her and her husband Jake have come to really love the lifestyle out here. They love the outdoors, and there might not be a better place in Utah for fishing and hunting than the basin. Oh, yeah! Get him? Yeah. 
I would say that the Una Basin is a hidden gem. Yeah. You weren't sure when you first moved out here. It's so pretty. No, I know that people like Natalie tried to convince me that this was the place and I wasn't sure. I'm not gonna say that I thought I was being punished, but uh, it has grown on me immensely. We have, you know, recreation like mountain biking. We have rock climbing opportunities. They just had a Jeep rally last weekend. Uh, you know, ATV trails, dirt bike trails. Double hiking trails, like you name it. We don't want everyone to know about it, but. <laughs> so come recreate, come and recreate. Up after yourself, but then go home. And then go home, yeah. <laughs> but come visit me, of course. Yeah. Oh, Everybody's catching in on everything. Spinner baits, buzz baits, sinkos, jigs. There's not anything that doesn't seem to work today. Once you find a good batch of fish, you can just sit and hammer on them. The variety, whatever your favorite is, you could probably catch it with them. Get out here and have some fun. Double up? Oh, hers might be bigger. Let me see. Oh, double, I think double. Bigger. Let me see. Double, treble. Is yours bigger? Oh, I think it is. It's a little fatter, too. Look at that guy. They should have caught it. Oh, my God, he's <laughs> got brutal today. <laughs> yeah, you're Worse. Pelican is a really fun fishery. It would be a great place to take the kids and enjoy some fun, fast fishing. Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. There's the first fish on the first first drop. I don't know, between the two boats, we had to have over 50, 60, maybe 70 fish. That was a lot of fish today. We lost count. There was so much action. I think Natalie got hurt today. She caught so many fish. About broke my wrist one time. Yeah. I know we've caught a lot of fish when my producer Jared puts the camera down. He's like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> it's a good looking little fish. Good times right now. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Good times with good friends, everybody. So you should make your way out here and enjoy the scenery. Come say hi to Natalie and Tanya. Tell them Adam sent you. <laughs> we'll, we'll be here. Hey, I'm Adam Eco, KSL Outdoors. Remind you out with your family, your friends. Come to the basin, make some memories. Outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night. <laughs>